Kaito Alba, the Barn Owl, once a common sight across Britain, hunting across a meadow at twilight, or a ghostly apparition caught in the headlights on a country road. But sadly the Barn Owl has suffered a long decline, from around 12,000 breeding pairs in 1933, to an estimated 4,000 breeding pairs today. So today, we have the privilege of meeting up with the Stamford Ringing Group as they ring three young barn owl chicks. The reason for the barn owl decline can be blamed on destruction of habitat, the use of pesticides and other modern farming practices. Barn owls are a schedule one bird which means they are fully protected by the Wildlife and Countryside Act of 1981 and an extra special licence is required to ring them. The smallest and youngest of the three was the first to be ringed. Barn owls begin incubation as soon as the first egg is laid. Then they'll lay additional eggs over a period of 8 to 21 days. After 31 to 32 days, the eggs will begin to hatch every two to three days, usually in the order that they were laid. This is called asynchronous hatching. Because of this hatching process, obviously the chicks will vary in size. This is a survival strategy, because when, for whatever reason, food is scarce, the older, bigger birds will actually feed on their younger siblings, ensuring that at least one bird will survive. Owl ringing provides important information that underpins conservation work for owls the same way as for other birds. And it's incredibly important work and all bird ringing in Britain is run by the British Trust for Ornithology or the BTO and the ringing is mostly done by volunteers. As the ringing progresses, you can really see the difference in the three chicks, from the youngest and smallest bird still covered in down, to the two older birds where the adult feathers are showing through in various degrees. Barn owl chicks will usually start to fly at around nine to 10 weeks, and then they'll start to leave the nest at around 11 to 12 weeks. By around 14 weeks, they should be fully fledged. There's no sign of the parent birds here today. They'll be off roosting. But when they start hunting in the evening, they'll bring food to the nest, hopefully ensuring that the chicks have enough to eat when the parents are not around. Barn owls will mostly eat shrews, voles and mice, and sometimes rats. The food is normally swallowed whole and then the fur and bone, which can't be digested, is regurgitated as an owl pellet. And then we have the oldest of our three chicks. And there you can see the adult plumage starting to appear. And once again, it's a huge thank you to the Stanford Ringing Group for allowing us to film their incredibly important work. And as the last chick is put safely back in the nest, I'll see you next time.